YouTube, my name is David Frankel and this is my brand new monthly series. Train News will be aired on the first Monday of every month and will be split into two sections. Section 1 is Travel News, bringing you the latest travel news from across Greater Manchester as part of KD Travel News. Section 2 is Rail News, bringing the latest news from the railway across Britain. Let's begin. <laughs> On Sunday the 19th of June, Exchange Square Metrolink stop will be closed due to a parade. On Sunday the 12th of June, there will be engineering works closing the lines between Deansgate and Victoria and Salford Crescent and Eccles stations. Services will be amended and or cancelled. Check the National Rail website for more info. From Sunday 19th of June to Sunday the 21st of August, the Victoria Staley Bridge Huddersfield line will be closed on Sundays with services to Leeds being diverted via Rochdale. Again, check the National Rail website for more info. Recently, Metrolink have unveiled their big plans for the summer changes. This means that the at St Peter's Square will be closed from the 26th of June until the end of August, with no trams being able to run through. Also, the Eccles line will close from the 26th of June. Cornbrook to Media City UK will reopen in early August, and Cornbrook all the way to Eccles will open in late August along with St Peter's Square which will be reopened to the public with trams running through and stopping for the first time in over a year. The rest of the second city crossing will open in 2017. As part of the Manchester to Bolton Chorley Preston line electrification project there are some changes to Chorley station. From Saturday 19th of June to Sunday 2nd of October Chorley station will be shut at weekends with buses running between Bolton and Preston. From July 11th, there will also be some changes to weekday services through Chorley Station. Once again, please check the National Rail website. If you travel on Northern or Transpennine services in the early morning or late at night, please check online before doing so as these services are often amended. Students moving to UTC next year, listen up. Your nearest stops are Media City UK and Broadway. If you're going from the Berry Line, get a tram to East Didsbury and change at Cornbrook, or a tram to Piccadilly and change at Piccadilly Gardens for the next available tram to Eccles via Media City UK. From Victoria, do the same, and from Piccadilly, just get on the next tram to Eccles via Media City UK. Just some travel news news. Duncan and I now have our second board, and we will be doing a big refurbishment of the boards, and it will and they'll be much neater and they'll have much more information. We're also thinking of starting a website. Do you think that's a good idea? Let us know below. And now, on to rail news. As I've already mentioned several times, since the 1st of April there have been two new franchises in the north of England. Ariba have taken over the northern franchise and first have retained Transpennine Express although without Keolis, both have completely rebranded and have made cr pretty crazy promises for new services in the north. There is so much to cover that I have in fact made a completely separate video which you can find in the link below explaining more about the new northern and Transpennine franchises and what they will bring to the table. On the 18th of March, Virgin Trains unveiled the very first 800 Hitachi Super Express train which they nicknamed the Azuma the 800s and 801s will enter service on the East Coast from 2018 and are also set to start running services on Great Western once electrification is complete. Hitachi are also building some new AT300s, which will look very similar. These are also set to run on Great Western services to Penzance, as well as on Hull trains and Transpennine services, as I mentioned in the aforementioned video, which you can find below. The second ban on West Coast Railways has been lifted. They originally banned it back in March 2015 after a SPAD or signal passed at danger. The Dover Corridor is still closed as repairs are still taking place on the seawall which was damaged by storms last December and won't be reopening until this December. Similarly, the part of the Settle Carlisle Railway between Carlisle and Appleby is still shut due to a landslip, although an estimated reopening date is yet to be released. 
On the 29th of March, a brand new flyover opened on the West Coast Main Line known as the Norton Bridge Flyover, greatly reducing track conflicts and simplifying track layout from this to this. The Flying Scotsman is on the move and will be visiting Crew Station on Tuesday 14th and Wednesday 15th of June. We may even go there to make a video, we'll see. There are many safety concerns regarding the Flying Scotsman as enthusiasts often jump onto the rails to have a look at it. This is very dangerous and also very stupid, so please enjoy the Flying Scotsman safely and responsibly. Arriva Trains Wales have finally won their extra paths down to the airport, so services from Holyhead and Achlandudno will no longer terminate at Piccadilly, but run all the way to the airport. The Holton Curve project has been approved. This will allow direct services between Liverpool and Chester by modernising an old single-track railway curve. Over in France, a new low-cost high-speed rail service has been launched by Talis between Paris and Brussels, known as Izzy. A couple of days ago, Virgin Trains introduced Beam, a brand new onboard entertainment service. And finally, the Class 700 Desire City trains are set to enter service on Thameslink this July. Thank you all for watching and big shout out to Modern Railways, an excellent monthly magazine all about the railway. No, I am not sponsored, but I would feel a bit bad for not mentioning it as this is where I get most of my information from. Hey, I ain't no Matthew Santoro. Modern Railways cost about £4.40 for an individual issue, although it's cheaper if you buy them by subscription. Go buy it, it's great. David Frank Show 55 will be released on Sunday 19th of June. See you next time in Train News 2 this July. Check National Rail website for more in...